the shake it wrong shade pray for me Madura, me pray i find my way if and welcome back, I hope you're doing fantastic. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Esther, I'm Mr. Bag J. In today's video, we're going to be exploring the revolution concerning the fine full coverage foundation shade. If you watched my recent video, you know that I recently did a foundation test on this particular foundation. In that video, you know that the shade that I used and everything just did not work out for me. Even though I picked the shade according to the description they had on their website, I couldn't find something that worked well for my skin tone. And in that video, I mentioned I was going to buy other shades, other deeper shades, and then, you know, explore whether or not I can actually find my shade in this range now when I did upload that video about a couple of days or so later or three days I don't know a few days later basically revolution announced on Instagram that they're going to be extending the shade range in this foundation from 24 to 48 launching in January next year now that is fantastic okay but at the same time I really do wish that they had just done that when they started did they kind of just launch 24 shades kind of create a buzz and then bring 48 and surprise us like like, whoa revolution is fantastic i don't know but anyway i just thought to let you know that the revolution is apparently going to be launching more shades in this range very soon okay so anyway i i have a total of six shades in front of me starting from f13 ending with f17 so if you have deeper complexion or even lighter complexion you just want to be informed and you're interested in seeing swatches of this foundation shade in this current range that they, are, they have right now be sure to keep on watching this video and if you have to subscribe please make sure you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below turn the notification thumbs up this video and without further ado let's jump straight into it all right so here we go so these three are the shades that i swatched for you guys in my foundation test video and these three are the new shades that i just purchased so the shades that i swatched for you guys in my foundation test video is a shade f13 f13.5 and f17 so we're just gonna put that aside for a moment so now i have the shade f14 f15 and f 16. IRL the bottle looks quite darker than it looks on camera right now but as usual I will show you what the foundation shades look like in daylight and I'll perhaps overlay it right now so you can see it. Let's just open this. Honestly, the packaging of this foundation is beautiful. I love the packaging. All right, so let's just start. Let's just swatch again, just in case you haven't seen the other video. Let's swatch from the F13 and whatnot. This is F13, which is described to be for medium dark skin tone with golden undertone. Next, we've got 13.5, which is described to be for medium dark skin tone with neutral undertone. And the new shade that I bought is F14. Hmm. I made sure I didn't open this off camera, you guys, because I wanted to see it for the first time with you babes yeah so this is f14 this one is more cool oh yeah that's right it's described to be for dark skin tone with a cool undertone okay now this description i agree with so far i uh, i don't know let's just keep going f15 is another new shade that i just purchased so this is f15 hmm this looks to have a little bit of red in it yep oh yeah this is described to be for dark skin tone with red undertone now f16 this is a new shade that I just bought as well. Mm. This looks like it has a little bit of red in it as well. It's described to be for dark skin tone with a warm undertone. Huh. And I'm of, as you can see, you know, deeper skin tone, or dark skin tone, whatever. But I have a warm undertone and golden as well. So, so far I still can't see something for me particularly. Maybe in a new range I will. But right now, I can't see it. And F17 is a shade that I had before. This is the second to the last shade in the range. The last shade in the range currently is F18. In the previous video, I even swatched this on my brother-in-law and I saw that it was significantly lighter than his deeper, deeper complexion. But yeah, let's just swatch it again. That is F17. This is what I used to contour. Okay, so we've got F13, F13.5, F14, F15, F16, and F17. These are the deeper shades in the range. It's, I mean, it's good that they're extending it. I was a little bit confused actually when I was looking at the photo on the Revolution Instagram. And it looks like like the, the shades on the paper they posted, they've got C on it. And C stands for concealer in this range. And the foundation, F for foundation is F. Are they extending the concealer as well? Or they made a mistake and wrote C instead of F. But I know that the, the description, they said new shades of concealer defined foundation. So I guess foundation. And it looks like there's going to be a shade between F 
F13.5 and F14. So it looks like they bring out F13.7, which on the paper here, they wrote Deep Sienna. So I'm guessing in a way they're saying 13.5 is Sienna, even though in the range currently, they don't really have a particular name for the shades, just number. So that is, um, I find that interesting. And it looks like there's going to be a shade between F14 and F15. So there's going to be a shade between 13. 0.5 and 14 which would be 13.7 and it looks like there's going to be a shade between f14 and f15 as well so there's going to be a shade in between which they're saying is going to be f14.5 and it also looks like there's going to be a shade between f16 this one right here and f17 so they're saying there's going to be f16.5 hmm which it's going to be interesting. There's also going to be F17.5, which is a shade between F17 and F18. Oh, it looks like there's also going to be F14.7. I'm excited to see it. And even the F12, there's also going to be a shade F12.7 between F12.5 and F uh, and F. 13 and even the lighter shades as well even though they've written c here which has confused me listen like they also put in shades in between as well i'm really quite curious to see the difference between the current range and the new range you know because right now i can't necessarily find something that i that i can use on its own for my skin tone it looks like i will have to mix and um someone commented recently and said that patricia used a 14 and we have the same skin tone in my opinion I feel like Patricia is not as warm as I am, you know, but she did use F14 apparently, which is this one right here. And I believe she mixed it with 15. So maybe I should try that. Yeah. Look, at the end of the day, I would rather have a darker foundation and then light it up with a concealer under my eyes then have a lighter foundation and be stuck and which is what happened in the foundation test video okay so i'm gonna mix 14 and 15 together actually let me blend out 14 first on this side and see 14 just looks to be too cool or too neutral for my skin tone and 14 is the one that's described to me for dark skin tone with cool undertone yeah it's not my exact undertone it could be my shade but it's not my undertone so i'm really hoping the 14.5 then bring it out has more of a warm or golden undertone i think that would be perfect for my skin tone do you see that so this is f14 it looks a little bit pinkish right here but it's better than when i applied f13.5 that one was just like no no you know i can definitely fix it it can definitely work for me you know so this is the f15 so there we go f15 f14 <laughs> i have two different undertones on my face and actually i have three different undertones on my face so here we have cool undertone we have red we have golden warm undertone right here <laughs> all right also for shits and giggles i was someone to try the f16 i believe someone did comment and said the few f16 would work for me let me put it on my forehead so this is f16 this one actually has a description of what is it warm undertone up yeah for dark skin tone with a warm undertone so let's just see if this will work I'm just gonna use the other side of the sponge that i haven't really used even though the shade itself 16 is not my particular shade but the undertone is my undertone it will end up fitting my skin tone by the time i'm done you know better compared to the 14 and the 15 you know what i mean so what should i do dang sometimes i wish this was live so y'all can tell me exactly what you want me to use but i hope this has helped you so far so here we have 14 which is for cool undertone here we have 15 which is for red undertone which i can still work with as well as well as this one and here we have 16 which is for warm undertone and i think i'm gonna use 16 you know let's just go ahead yeah i'm gonna use 16 i'm gonna use 16 okay i'll use 16 <laughs> because it's my undertone even though it's not my shade it's my undertone yes <laughs> Now that I use it all over my face, this seems to be a little bit more red compared to looking more warm, golden-ish, you know? 
Let's just keep going, it's okay. All right, so there we go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use F13 as a concealer. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this shade looks like in daylight before the sun goes down. <laughs> yes, it definitely looks way better now in daylight compared to when I used F13.5. I mean, my face looks just a little bit red, but it looks way better than the 14 and the 15 that I used on the side of my face, you know, earlier. So let's go ahead and apply Apply. oh the finish of this is beautiful but let's not talk about the finish as i said if you want to see what i really think about the foundation itself i'm going to put a link to the foundation test video down below or just wait for the to the end of this video and click one of the end screen annotations and it will take you straight to the video okay so now let's go ahead and use f13 to highlight generally i use c10 or c12 to highlight in the concealer range because they're a bit lighter but i'm going to use f13 this might kind of balance it a little bit i just say F13 looks to be more golden now on top of F16. Isn't it interesting? So here we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. Ooh, look at this. Yes. Yes. We've got kind of semi gold in the center, a little bit red in the perimeter, but everything is still looking tweet. Tweet. Do it, do it, do it. I'm gonna put a little bit of F13.5 right here to kind of cut my cheek line, jawline, whatever this is, the contour line, you know? If I was gonna contour, this is where I would place it. So I'm gonna place it under the imaginary contour. And I'm using 13.5 because this is not as light as 13. So I'm just gonna blend this out. All right, here we go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab F17 and I'm gonna use this to lightly, lightly contour my nose. And I'm gonna bring it to my crease. There we go. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of my forehead area. So I want it to look a little bit more cool. I'm gonna blend the nose. I'm gonna be using the Cody Airspawn Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent. And just place this everywhere where I applied F13. And also gonna use the set the 13.5 that's right here. Just a little bit, we don't need a lot, just a bit. I'm liking this so far. I think I will be bouncing between 16, 14 and 15, you know, until we find out what other shades they added to this range. So yeah, I don't know why I'm, I'm so invested in this range, guys. I just, I don't know. I just wanna make sure that we, everyone is being, is being catered for and it's not just like talk and talk and talk and talk and you know, it's not really happening in actuality you know i just want to basically hold them accountable i don't know and so far like i'm i'm not too too impressed but i'm not too too disappointed either but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and i will be right back so back to this foundation i really do appreciate the fact that makeup revolution is extending the shade range of the foundation but once again i really do wish that they had just done that when they released the first shades i don't know why brands continue to do this like they really need to realize that customers like myself and you guys as well like we're going and we'll buy these foundations in the hopes that it's our shade only to find out that our shade is not in the first launch but it might be in the second launch which means we're not spending more money like it's just not fair and i do know that some brands do things like this so that way they can create a hype around the lack of inclusivity not that the shade range isn't already inclusive it just wasn't inclusive enough but i do know brands do do that so that way they can have more buzz and have more market and all that and have more profits when they do launch the other shades you know like me as a reviewer like you can see that i spent money twice on this foundation so altogether six foundation i spent 90 australian dollars on the six foundations i mean it's affordable in the grand scheme of things when you compare to high-end foundation and all that's so i'm not really too too mad now they might have their own explanation for this perhaps maybe they didn't have enough capital to launch it all at once maybe they just want to test the market first or whatever but the great thing though is i did notice that it's not just deeper shades that was lacking and it's not just deeper shades that, that that's getting extension in the range or whatever if there's going to be problem in a shade group i'd rather it to be all shade groups not just one shade group so it looks like makeup revolution like even in the really confusing undertone they have in the 24 shades that's currently available at the moment it's to everybody light skin medium skin deep dark it's not just dark skin tone and i, I appreciate that even though it's like not really good but it's good that it's not just 
just deeper skin tone that's experiencing issues does that make sense so i really do hope that the shades that they add in is going to benefit every single one of us so that is it i hope this video was able to help you out to determine what shade you might be in the current shade range they have available at the moment i hope this video was detailed enough i did try to be as detailed as i can be if you have any question that you want to ask me about the current range especially from the shade f13 to f17 please make sure you put it down below so thank you so much for watching babes i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up i was gonna select a fan bam shout out for this video but i didn't because i want to just give a shout out to every single one of you babes that commented on the foundation test video i just really appreciate the support and the positive comments you guys leave and your suggestions as well i really do appreciate it so shout out goes to every single one of your babes okay and as i said earlier once again thank you so 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 much for watching and as always whatever you want to love yourself and i'll see you babes in my very next video bye um 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 so we just oh, where is it where are you hold on dad i love you like i love you oh i'm tired let's shake it wrong shade i'm gonna be using oh